Okay, so I figured since I just bumped my camera, it would be a really great time to, let me turn my, sorry. Um, so I figured since I just bought my camera, it'd be a really great time for me to stop and show you what I'm doing. I'm using um, clay sculpting tools. I have this metal set that I picked up at the craft store. Um, I opted for the cheapest metal set that I could find, so they're not ergonomic. So once in a while, I end up like wrapping um, things around them to make them a little more comfortable to use, but they are, a, it's a really good set. Anyway, so I, in my blending, I cross over into etching, um, which is a complete different version of sketching where you start to tear at the paper, you start to create layers, you start to, um, I, I believe I said in another video, and maybe even in this video, I'm not sure, um, that you, I, I like to work through the paper. So one thing that sets my my work apart from maybe um, something of some other work is that I start to tear at the paper. I start to um, come at the paper in a different way. I, I don't just leave on the surface layer. I could just stop here where it's just, okay, I'm all done. Um, maybe the typical artist is done here. Um, that's your style? Great, I love you. Uh, you're wonderful. It's not for me. I this is where I start taking out my anxieties. This is where I start really kind of working with um, maybe seeing what it looks like if I let the layers of the paper create my highlights um, instead of just letting my medium be the highlight. Uh, sometimes I will add water or paints. Um, this particular um, sketchbook that I'm working in, I only tend to work in with uh, charcoal and graphite, so I won't add in waters or any other mediums with this work, but I will go down to sometimes up to three or four different pages even in this book where I will um, glue the papers together and just tear at the paper until I am satisfied with how many um, kind of layers come out at me and, and sometimes even make the, the image even more um, multi-dimensional um, than just a, a piece of art or, you know, a, a drawing or a sketching, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, so this is where you can really bring in to your blending other tools and other media with just beyond just your blending stumps and your your other like paint or you know graphite or charcoal this is where you can just really get weird with it um, you can scratch at it with your fingernails I have a pair of tweezers that I bought at the Dollar Tree that I'll bring in um, in fact I need to get those out now because we're getting to that time where they are Sometimes they get used for other things around the house and I kind of don't like that, but it happens. They might be in my apron. I have an apron in the other room that I use for crafting and arts and stuff. And I, yeah. So anyway, so I'll go find those at another time. It's not that big of a deal right now. We're not to that level, but sometimes I will outright just tear at the paper and create um, lines with the tears. You can go as deep and as big as you like with that. And you can even use the edges of these tools to, to blend your charcoal or your graphite. These tools can be your friends and they can create unique kind of features in your art that other people go, oh, how did you do that? And they won't believe you when you say you did it with a pair of tweezers or your fingernail or whatever, and they'll just look at you funny. 
believe me, it's it's really cool when it's all done. Um, it, it really adds a, a different kind of feature to your art when you start bringing in other tools and start etching with, you know, different things. Don't be afraid to, to just tear at the paper, especially if you have um, anxiety or something that you kind of just want to hyper focus on something and, and really just kind of scratch at a problem. This is a great problem to scratch at. You're probably not going to, you know, with your skin picking or your, you know, the other problems that people tend to do like self-harming, um, you're not going to solve those problems in a healthy way with actually harming your body. Believe me, I have tried. I have, I've gone through that personally. Um, self-harm did not get me anywhere. It did not help me. And I discovered that this actually did help. This was actually a much better replacement. Like, you know, I didn't have to explain this to anybody of, you know, oh, you know, I, I spent seven hours picking at a piece of paper rather than speaking, pick, picking at my leg for seven hours. Um, you're not alone in, in these issues of, you know, needing something to pick at. You're not alone. And sometimes I just do this while I'm watching TV, you know, it, especially if you have like ADHD or a lot of stress at work or even, you know, if you're just having a, a rough day or, you know, the last year has even been rough. It's, it's been rough this last year just to, you know, try to be like, you know, what's going on in the world and whatever. And people have, you know, deliberately not wanting to address it because they're just like, well, I don't want to add to somebody else's cup or whatever. So we've kind of turned to some other methods to cope. Well, this is a method we can use to cope. It doesn't hurt anybody and it adds to the beauty of the world. Um, so, and you see like, as I'm talking about like the world, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay that I'm feeling that stress because I have an outlet. I have a place right here I have the fan on, it's summer in Georgia. So welcome to summer in Georgia. I'm your tour guide, it's really hot. Um, <laughs> do you see that there is, there's an outlet here and, and as frustrated as I may get, it's okay if I tear through four pages of sketchbook, it's not okay if I tear through my skin and hurt myself and you know, cause harm to me just because I'm, you know, worried or, you know, anxious. The lawn people always at the weirdest times. So I'm going to go back to just kind of working on this, but thank you for watching and I'm going to calm down very